Hi, Randy here with Canadian Energy, and uh, we're going to talk today about uh, testers. Uh, what are the differences? What's good? What's not? Um, so, the most common thing that we're going to see in the market today, and I would say 80 plus percent of the shops that I go into, and that's a low number, 80 percent, we would find some type of re resistance tester, conductive tester, electronic tester. There's there's a wide range of, of them out there, quick cable, auto meter, OTC, Medtronic, Snap-on. The majority of the testers that, that the uh, tool, tool people are selling today are, are electronic testers. The challenge that we see with these testers is uh, varying results from, from different testers, but again, you know, it's become the industry standard in a sense uh, because of ease of use. I think that we find techs today, uh, you know, want something that they can plug in. Uh, they don't really have to know the intricacies of how a battery works, what the voltage is on it. They want to plug in something that says, hey, it's a good battery, it's a bad battery, it needs to be recharged. Um, so, so again, this, this seems to be taking over the market. Uh, the choice of battery professionals would be the carbon pile load tester. Uh, the carbon pile load tester will simulate an actual vehicle load, a uh, piece of heavy equipment load. Um, typically, more amperage in a vehicle is going to draw. So it, the, it actually pulls amperage out of the battery um, depending on how much you want to draw out of it. And, and that would be adjusted by, the, uh, by the, the dial on the front, which puts more pressure on the carbon pile. So you can draw on this particular unit, the Autometer SB5, up to an 800 amp draw on a battery, which is, which is a huge load. Um, the difference between this meter and, and the electronic meters would be you need to know how to run this unit, being if a battery is not fully charged, it's not going to tell you you need to recharge it before you test the battery. So what we see often is somebody will load test uh, a battery with a carbon pile load tester and it won't give you good results, but if the battery isn't fully charged, you can't expect it to give you full amperage or what it's rated at. Uh, it, it needs to be charged first. Whereas the electronic tester will uh, will tell you that the battery needs to be charged. So we'll go a little further. Uh, we'll go into the uh, running the uh, the electronic testers versus the carbon pile testers on some different batteries and uh, and the results that come with those. So we'll be back with those.